This is Speed Williams, and the tip this month is how to use a mechanical dummy to improve your horse and your roping. But this video was built for TeamRoper.com. This video is brought to you by SpeedRoping.com. What I want to talk about today is the value and the importance of using a mechanical dummy to train your horse. I like using a mechanical dummy because I can slow things down, make them go in steps, make my head horses do the little things that I need them to do, and I can do the same thing over and over again and get the repetition that I need. One of the big things about making your horse raid is running up there, swinging your rope, and then just backing them off. Getting them where they back off in your hand and they don't climb and they don't get charging. You've got to have that horse rate when he gets to the cow. You've got to have that horse break down and watch the cow. Very hard to head on a horse if they're climbing and bouncing in the air. And you want to have your horse watching the cow. And that's what the mechanical dummy allows you to do over and over again, is letting your horse go to the cow, rope, and doing it in a little bitty slow steps controlled where you can make them face and do all the things they need to to work correctly. Yes, the mechanical dummy a lot of people believe is just for healing, but I believe it's as valuable on a head horse making the horse work correctly and to be able to control your horse. One thing when you rope live cattle, you get caught up in trying to catch the steer and you don't pay attention enough to your horse making your horse work correctly. It doesn't matter if you're my mom or my little girl. There's so many things that you can learn roping a mechanical dummy, placing your horse at the right time, swinging your rope, placing your rope down there at the correct time when the feet are back, getting your rope down there, practicing your dally, and controlling your horse. If you have control of your horse and your horse will allow you to go where you need to go when you want to go there, it makes healing a lot more fun. It makes heading a lot more fun. The bottom line to it, practicing swinging your rope, practicing riding your horse, getting your horse in the correct position where you can see the feet, and throwing your rope at the correct time is so important. If you learn the correct fundamentals and you can do it at a slow pace, it makes it a lot easier when you pick the pace up and start going faster. You know, for me, it's all about teaching kids the correct things to begin with. You know, for Gabe, getting him in the right position, make him get in the right position, wait till the dummy turns, getting in there, but allowing him to have fun, allowing him to be involved with what we're doing. It's very dangerous to have him out there when you're roping steers. But all I can tell you is don't overlook the value and the importance of getting the correct training tools. Because if you can do the same thing over and over and do it correctly, it gives you a lot better chance when you go to rope and steers. If you cannot rope the dummy correctly at a slow pace, it makes it hard when you go fast.